Hey hello there guys, how's it going? Matt Dismalt here, welcome back to some more Europa Universe Size 4. We are going to carry on playing as Sligo, where we are aiming to form Ireland. Right, so another day, another set of recordings. So, in the last part we waged a bit of warfare against France, England and Scotland at the same time. And we... We, we came off pretty okay, actually. It was interesting because uh, we were called into... We had a call to arms from Denmark. Uh, against Scotland, um, we completely destroyed Scotland, and then they went and called in England and France. So, um, yeah, that was pretty much the story. And um, France did try and siege us over here, but we managed to get a stack wipe on one of their one of their armies, which was great with Denmark's help, of course. Um, ooh, Castilian subsidies have been cancelled. Uh, that could be a pain. Oh God, there's the balance. Right, uh, because we did have an advisor, didn't we, who was helping us with the dip play, but we're going to have to boot him out now. Because otherwise we can't afford it. So whilst we've got that going, okay. So we are still in the profit, which is nice. But we do have this um, treaty going on. Oh god, I clicked the wrong one there. Uh, we had this treaty with England and Scotland until 1513, which isn't too far away. Um, and I reckon. Ooh, oh yeah, he. Oh okay, he's at war. That suggests colonial. I think uh, England has gone colonial over here. Uh, yes, of course he has, and <laughs> his, his actual uh, colonies are being occupied at the moment, which is quite funny. Castile is just over here as well, which is probably one of the reasons why Castile actually hates um, hates England. Right, we have the Protestant Reformation. It has started. So Poland is actually the first place. That's interesting. Uh, usually the first place is like uh, the bottom end of Sweden or somewhere within the HRE or something like that. Um, Poland, really? Okay, that's fair enough. Um, I think we did sort of decide that we are going to go either Reformed or Protestant at some point. Now, in that case, what I wouldn't mind is a centre of Reformation somewhere around the English Channel here. Um, perhaps over here, yeah, over here maybe. I don't know, but um, there's a chance that France and Spain, are, or Castile at the moment, France and Castile are going to stay Catholic. So, we may have a little bit of trouble with them in terms of religion, heretic wars, and things like that. They won't be too happy about our heretic religion, but um, I think we'll be okay. I think uh, I don't think that's going to matter too much. I swear I built some regimental camps somewhere, but um, doesn't seem to be uh, doesn't seem to be taking effect at the moment because I, I built some regimental camps to increase my force limits. But, uh, so England has actually sent some troops over at the moment. Uh, I wouldn't mind actually having a look at their army. Uh, 20k. Alright, they've got a good manpower reserve as well, which is a bit annoying. But um, They have a decent amount of troops, but uh, we could call on some, uh, some people. Um, we have Bohemia, of course, as our ally. Um, we also have France, potentially. Uh, who's, uh, who's allied with England over here? Palatinate, Papal State, and Siena. Well... I think I mentioned it before, I'm not sure, but uh, what I can see happening is maybe France and Bohemia dealing with everything that comes their way over here, and then just a straight fight between us and England, because England and Scotland are no longer uh, allies. Well, they're saying that truce does end in 1512, and our truce doesn't end until 1513, so that may become a thing. They might re-ally up, I don't know. But Scotland still has France. I, I, I think... Scotland is going to have France as a friend for quite a long time here, which is a bit annoying. But there may be a way for us to ha actually deal with it somehow. I don't know. Um, going to fabricate some more claims. Oh, we need 35 for that. Okay. I can say we can uh, fabricate some more claims. How is uh, Denmark like feeling towards? Ah, pretty good actually, because we honoured much of their their calls. We honoured their call to arms against Scotland. We also wanted their call to arms against Muscovy, who is becoming a bit scary uh, over that way. Um, just down with the Teutonic Order. Um, yeah, interesting. Ottomans as well. Interesting position for them. The war with the Mamluks, and they're crushing them. So, I would Tunis, as they tend to do. Ah, the reason that Hungary's still around is because their independence is guaranteed by uh, the Ottomans. Oh, I hate this one. Um, either way, we lose the stability, but I would like, if only we had Comet Sense. <laughs> right, uh, so let's go ahead and spend uh, 
to boost that up a little bit. We'll stay at zero for now, I think. I don't think we need to spend too much uh, on that sort of front. But, uh, I think we'll be fine. Uh, yes, we have one, one leader over here. We have a leader for our transport fleet as well, although I'm not really sure at all. I think we assigned one in case of a sea battle or something like that. Um, wouldn't mind actually, hang on, position you here and uh, let's actually assign you to there. There we go, let's move that out and then protect trade. Uh, it makes more sense to use the leader in that sort of way rather than just having him sat in port doing bugger all. And I'm not going to kick him, I might as well just leave him there. Seems a bit pointless to kick him when we can just make use of him. Uh, gonna make a claim for Sutherland. It's just Fife and Aberdeenshire are the only two that we can't actually claim for at the moment. Interestingly enough, um, Scotland would accept the royal marriage. I don't understand why. Uh, I've not declared them as a rival yet, though. Um, game Army Organizer. Is that uh, part of the advisor team or something? I don't know. Uh, quartermaster. Master Recruiter. Army Reformer. Army Organizer. That's this guy. Okay. It's uh, a female, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Interesting. There's a center of reformation in Yorkshire. Ouch. Well, I think that's just going to accelerate our um, move to Protestantism. That honestly is. That's crazy. Whoa. I did say that maybe what if one appeared in London or something like that, but that is incredible. It is a center of reformation for Protestantism. Okay. There's also one in Denmark over there. Oh, jeez. Okay, so at some point we might want to consider changing to Protestant. Uh, you can do that manually. You can go over here and you can change to Protestant. Um, you get missionary strength versus heretics plus 10%, but you do lose 100 prestige. For some reason, if I hold my mouse over this, it doesn't stick around. I don't know why. Uh, we would get a national tax modifier and uh, improve relations plus 15 as well, um, which would be interesting. But I think at a certain point... There we go. We're getting some conversion. We're getting massive conversions over here. Um, at a certain point, we're going to want to... Um, to switch. Uh, probably when most of this has been converted. Um, yeah, see, um, the religion is already... England is actually converting to... Um, yeah, England is converting, so um, it has decided that it wants to be Protestant. So as a result, it must have... yeah, it's got a huge amount of prestige decay because it lost 100 prestige by converting. So... Uh, once enough of our territory has been converted, I will, um, I will make the switch. But at the moment, I think we're fine. I'll stay where we are. Probably if we conquer some more lands over here as well. Probably another, another way to, uh, assure ourselves of a, a decent, uh, decent Protestant. I don't understand this, to be honest. Because I'm pretty sure I increased my force limit with some... yeah, because I've already built... I've got three regimental camps and my force limit didn't go up. I don't know why. Oh well. Um, people influence? Well, we're going to start losing that because um, of course we're going to be switching to Protestant. So, um, interesting, interesting. Uh, our religious unity is going to go down. This is the thing. Um, our religious unity is going to go down and we do have... there we go. So as soon as as soon as our religious unity drops to below 75, we have the probable disaster of religious turmoil. Um, so we may be able to avert that, uh, but again, religious unity is dropping. See, here we go. Um, the problem is, if I do switch to Protestant, we may get some rebellions happening over here. Which case... Uh, what's being converted over here? It's currently the problem... Yeah, see, these are being converted. There we go. Um, that one's next. So as soon as these guys get converted, I might do the, it might make the switch. So, um, I'm gonna imagine, what have we got? Uh, neighboring heretic religion. Yeah, see, that's a problem. 
Um, it will piss off our neighbours as well. Like um, Denmark is no longer happy with us because they are officially a Protestant nation, and we are a heretic religion to them. But if we change to Protestant, then France won't hate, won't like us because we'll be a Protestant religion, and they'll be Catholic. So, hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, ooh, what have we got? Lose stability or gain some inflation. God. Um, I'll take the inflation, to be honest. Uh, we got stupidly high inflation, but uh, we need to... going to drop this twice and three times. That's a huge amount of admin to spend on that, but it's got to be done. It's too, too high. Also ahead of time on admin tech anyway, so that's okay. That makes sense. We'll do that. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm just going to take my slippers off. Oh. Just been out for a walk, so uh, just come back and then hey presto. Now, the English separatists have suddenly risen up because um, it's people who probably want to be Protestant. Although saying that, it should be just Protestant, Protestant zealots otherwise. Uh, but yes, we can see what's going on here. Uh, yeah, so probably the northern sector of the HRE will start converting. Um, there's actually quite a few Protestant center. Yeah, there's no reform centers yet, which is interesting. Uh, usually you get reformed and Protestant. But, uh, interestingly enough, there's no reformed. Mm, right, we have a new national idea. Uh, it's a military one. Um, the thing is, we still... We're still a little bit behind in military, that's the thing. We're, I think we're still lacking. I know we're, we're level with um, everybody else. Not with Scotland, mind you. But um, I, I still think that um, we might want to save up for military. Just a little bit. Until we get advisors, we're not going to be investing too much into our national ideas. But uh, once we get advisors and we start uh, pumping out the monarch points, then we're going to be in a great shape. Now, who's our... Okay, our air... Oh no, what am I doing? Uh, over here. There we go. Uh, decent air on the admin front, which is nice. Um, not as balanced as our current one, but uh, that's fine. Right, I'm going to fabricate our final claim in um, Scotland. And then I'm going to stop building the spy network. Is Scotland decided to stay Catholic? Yes, it has. Okay. No reformation happening across the border either. Uh, which is interesting to know. Uh, so say I declared war, France would probably join. Yes, they would. Okay. It's very close, though. And none of my allies would join. Uh, Bohemia, distant war, yeah, allied to the enemy. And Denmark has a truce. Okay. But if I declared against England, what would happen? Okay, Bohemia and France would definitely be willing to join in. Portugal, distant war, so they'd probably never join in. And Denmark has a truce. So, interesting. Could be very, very interesting. Um, and Scotland did not join back either. That's great. Okay, there we go. Right. Ooh! Austria has just declared war on England for independence. Fantastic. This could be the perfect moment to jump. Right, so a bunch of armies. Actually, uh, let's grab a transport fleet and let's just move around here. I want to see where most of these troops are actually going. Because uh, I would not mind calling. Oh, yes. Oh, this. This is, this is going to be good, guys. Right. Um, I do want to see where half of these troops have gone. He's... Yeah, they're all boarding the ships. Okay, right. Let's bring this guy back here. And we are this time going to be the war leader. We are going to fight for... Uh, something I wouldn't have minded. Uh, let's fight for Northumberland. Siena, Papal State and Palatinate will join in. They're going to be busy fighting Austria for one thing. But I'm also going to call in France and Denmark. Not going to call in Bohemia. I don't think Bohemia... I think Bohemia is close to the Palatinate. Um... 
Well, I'm not sure whether to call in Denmark. Don't really want to call in too many people, that's the thing. Oh, we could just call them all in. Should we just call them all in? Fine. See see what they're like in terms of responding to our allegiance calls. Um, so, Bohemia, France and Denmark should be pretty good. So, Bohemia might focus on the Palatinate, because they're pretty darn close. We hope that France would attack the Papal State and Siena, and then we'll just be left to uh, devastate everything over here. Uh, so... Take Northumberland. Bam. Uh, Northumberland is a fort. And I'm going to take marches first. And declare that war. Right. Oh god, I've just run into... Ah, that's a, that's a pain in the butt. Um, wouldn't mind... Turning you around here. Yeah. Um, let's go over this way. Up to here. And then to there, like that. That should be fine. Uh, I might use the light ship for some blockading, though. Um, some rebels as well. Excellent. Um, got no siege, but it's fine. Not too bothered. Uh, right, 19k arriving. Gonna siege out London probably. So France will be cheesed off again that we won't have. Um... Right, what I'm gonna do here actually is grab a 1k stack, walk into there, with a view to trying to take control of some of these provinces that we've got close here. Right, occupy the ones that we want, really. Uh, Hampshire, yeah, see, France does want Hampshire, which is a bit annoying. Um, yeah, so you're just going to, like, occupy a bunch of this. Um, what to Yorkshire, I suppose? Okay, Denmark's just landed in a set of troops. I would hope that maybe the other army... Yeah, the other French army's gone over here deal with the Papal State. I'm happy about that. Ooh, uh, Siena tried to land some troops. Interesting to know. Um, Denmark... I'm glad Denmark has occupied that, actually. That's quite good. I'm happy with that. Uh, no, 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 no. Go over there. Uh, that's going to take a while for that to actually come to anything, but... It's okay, it means I'm, I'm, I'm assured to be the siege leader over there. It's the important bit. Right, Denmark did occupy that, which is annoying. Uh, again, I'm going to grab a 1k stack and I'm going to walk in down there. Because I want these two as well. Don't want France getting too many here. And... Yeah, I wouldn't have minded actually getting that, but that's fine. Some rebels here as well. We've got to be careful of the rebels. I do want to occupy this. Um, right. So I'll keep that 1k stack literally just sat there. That's literally what they're going to do. Just sit there and then wait until I'm ready to go and siege that. Right, Somerset, perfect. Right, uh, move you back up there. Oh, here we go. Um, send. Ah, I can't attack down there, that's annoying. Alright, let's walk in over there then. I wouldn't mind. Oh, I'm still paused. A bit silly. Uh, right, so I've occupied these guys. Um. Right, I'm going to go siege up there then, because I've got a 1k stack down here already. Oh, that's frustrating. Uh, right, so, do I support the clergy, or do I support... Ooh, wouldn't mind the missionary strength. Loss of stability is a pain in the butt, though. Um, especially when I'm going to need to spend a lot of admin points on coring, and things like that. Do that. 
sunset. Okay. Uh, Hampshire has been won. Woo! No, 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 no. Um, DC's that, but... Uh, Hoping that maybe... Right, there's gonna be a battle there. Cool. Okay, walk in here. And go there. Perfect. Just, uh, I get the occupation there. Okay, English uh, English army got stack wiped there. A bit annoying about these rebels here, to be honest, but uh, it's fine. Uh, what do we got here? Defenders in the Siege of Somerset will get average penalties. Religion Somerset changes to Protestant. Uh, this is led to debate with local, uh, good Catholics. Spare our Catholic brothers and sisters. Fatal war. No mercy for enemies of Sligo. Because we want to be Protestant anyway, so I think that's going to be a good help. There we go, perfect, right. We're going to be Protestant, so... Again, France will be a little bit annoyed at us because of the... Um, was not given occupied cause. Because I do not want to give them anything here. Oh, the rebels decided to attack me. Really? Um, okay. You, you go ahead and do that. That just seems so stupid. Gloucestershire is converted. Excellent. There we go. That's pretty darned easy. Um, I know we've been sieged over here, which is a bit annoying, but uh, it's fine. We've sort of occupying most of the provinces that I'm going to be nicking anyway, so... Which is London Falls and all that. Uh, England made the mistake of sending its troops out, and that was it. Um, so, anybody willing to peace out over here? The Palatinate's a bit medium. And is about to be sieged up anyway, so... Can uh, piece these guys out one by one, I think, and uh, take a bunch of money from all of them. Uh, I think is what I'm going to do. Uh, Papal State still has some men kicking around. Excellente. We'll go ahead and reoccupy some of the uh, bits over here as well because uh, that'll be fine. We'll piss off France again, but uh, it's okay. What we got here? Peace offer from the Palatinate. Okay. Um, are you fully fully seized out? Yes, you... Well, pretty much. So, super peace. Um, not bothered about you having a uh, an allegiance with England. That's fine. I'm okay with that. So, give me loads of money. I don't know. Um, gives me some prestige when... Uh, when I asked him to do this. So... Ooh, Provence, actually. That might be a good one. Um, no, not Salzburg. Provence. That'd be a, a nice one to actually have. Okay. That gives me some prestige as well, which I, I like the idea of. So... Send demand. Bam. Take that. Okay. Who else is left in the war? we got Siena and the Papal State. Right, we're nearly sieging out Northumberland as well, which is great news. I'd like to separate piece these guys out one by one. Uh, so now we're going down to attack the Papal State. Uh, is Bohemia going to do do that, or are you just going to run back to your nation? I don't know what you're going to do. Right, nearly finished the siege up top as well, that's good. Uh, right, you're going to de-siege my province, thank you very much. Much appreciate it. Right, okay, so still allied with France over there. 
42k to DC Jeflamin. <laughs> Local province. Brilliant. Right, I think Bohemia is advancing down towards the Papal State, which is good. Right, there we go. Won the season of Northumberland. Right. Uh, Marches is going to be one of the ones that we take. So, uh, I'm going to stand my troops over there. Wouldn't mind separate beating out these guys. Uh, Papal State's war enthusiasm is medium. Not willing to white piece out though. I'd like a little bit more war score than that. Is Bohemia involved in more than one war? No, it's not. Ah, there's a Papal State army actually over there. Uh, that's interesting. I would go and reinforce that if I was you. There's also a C and E's uh, army in there as well. Doesn't appear bothered by attacking about attacking there. Right, Bohemia's going to reinforce, so that's going to be going to be another bit of war score. Do, do, do. Right, France is actually liking me at the moment. That's good, uh, but I'm going to cheese them off again. Okay, I guess we'll take. Um, now the war enthusiasm is still medium. I don't know why. I have no idea as to why, but they are. There we go, that's better. Right, it's going to be a stack wipe over there. Cool. Right, let's see what we can ask for then. So... Yeah. Don't want to give you anything. Uh, we'll take marches. We'll take Derbyshire. Uh, Northumberland because it's the war goal. Cuts off the border with Scotland as well, which is good. Uh, Oxfordshire. If I take Lincolnshire, I'd completely split them in half. But I wouldn't mind... Uh, military access, okay. Get rid of the Papal State as, a, as an ally. Not worried about the other two. And pay me money. Only a tiny, tiny bit. Um, I think that's going to be fine, though. Uh, Bohemia is going to like that, but France isn't. Uh, I think that's going to be okay, though. So we're weakening England even further. I know we're not taking any forts. Oh, we are. We're taking the one in marches, but... Uh, we're taking two, actually, because Northumberland had one. So, I think that's going to be okay, though. I think that's fine. It's going to cheese off France, but in the end, that's the way it is. It's the way it is, France. Right, cause. What do we got here? Looming disaster, religious turmoil. Okay. Right, well, they're still friendly towards me. They're just a bit annoyed that I didn't give them any uh, provinces. That's literally it. Uh, so, looming disaster. Okay, so Sligo is completed. Yeah. Can be stopped by religious unity of at least 75%. Sligo has completed humanist ideas. Okay, well. Um, firstly, I need to mothball the forts. Because uh, I've picked up a couple of them there. Uh, which is quite interesting. So England has just returned all his troops as well. And is losing the war with Austria, which is great. Uh, so Austria will no longer be in a PU, uh, which I like. Right, so... Meter. Okay, yes. So Protestantism has reached over there now. And what I am going to do is, despite the prestige hit that we're going to take in the next part we are going to convert to Protestantism. So, we're going to do that in the next part. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching. If you like European Universities 4, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. And now that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for more for myself, Matt Tomato. Thanks for watching, guys.